So today is uh, a travel day and it meant an early start. It's half past seven, we're 90 miles from London. We've got a long way to go yet. Andy, for flat white. Yeah, thank you, cheers bud. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. First stop is breakfast. So, because we're here so early, basically everywhere is short. So we went to a little, I don't even know what it was called, breakfast something. And we've got sausage, bacon and egg. Paps, what are you thinking? No. No. I think it's nice. Quick update on breakfast. I didn't eat mine, I thought it was disgusting. Who's the princess out of the two of us? Not me. Right, so we've arrived, all checked in, luggage through security, there's only one thing left to do. Our car journey you're about to board a plane which is an 11 hour flight that means we're going to America I will reveal where that is very very soon all I can tell you is both me and Hannah are pretty excited about where we're going to end up and we're going to bring you along for the ride right so trip update I've come into the toilet block I'm not sat on the toilet by the way um, I am sat on the toilet with the seats down. To give you a bit of an update, we are five hours into what is an 11 hour flight. Oh my god, this is long. We're in cattle class by the way and uh, it ain't the comfiest. Halfway through about three films and uh, this better be worth this journey. Bye. Thank you, bye. Right, so that's it, 11 hour flight finally landed. It's like two o'clock in the morning in uh, UK time. We've landed here and it's uh, half past five, something like that in the afternoon. The good news is the case has arrived, but the queue to get through customs is uh, ridiculous. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. We just have come away because we just stood still, not moving anywhere and it's the last thing you need all you want to do right now is uh, get checked into the hotel so a little bit of a delay we've landed obviously in san diego i'll still keep you hanging on as to where our end destination is going to be there's the queue and there's hannah hopefully we're through that soon and i'll uh, give you an update as soon as we get to the hotel <music> Just arrived, checked in, room. Wow, this is nice. Well, that's very nice. I'm not sure what's out here. It's just open. Yeah. Oh my word. I'm sure that'll look even better in the morning. So I've been up best part of, uh, that's 24 hours straight, but you know how jet lag works. It's a case of quick shower down to the bar have a few drinks and see if we can uh, sleep through it. Oh, morning. Did any of you watch Star Wars? Do you remember the Emperor? view from the breakfast balcony. I'm not sure where the swimming pool's gone. My room must be over the other side somewhere, is it? And there's the ocean over there. Right, so we've just come down for breakfast and this is this is one of them hotels where any minute someone really famous could walk through the doors and uh, 
as I live and breathe. Would you believe it? It's only bloody Chris Dennis. Who's that fella in front with him? That was, of course, the one and only James. Hi, right, mate. Robertson. You well? I am good. Well, what are we doing, and why have I bumped into you? Eleven-hour flight from home. We've flown the other side of the world. We're in Carlsbad. What are we doing here? Well, we're here to see. Yes, yeah, so today I get to spend the full day at TaylorMade headquarters, where we'll be looking at something that I can't reveal until early part of next year. But I'll be spending my day in there with a bit of uh, education, let's say. So now I've just come across the road from the headquarters and into what is known, or I'm about to go into what is known as the Kingdom. It's TaylorMade's custom fit facility that you'll have seen a lot of their top team, like likes of Rory, Tiger, Morikawa, Justin, Dustin Johnson, they've all been to this place to get custom fit. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> custom fit with a putter really interesting on a personal level but I think there's also a few lessons for us all to learn just have a listen to this the odd, the odd thing is so we, we put these YouTube videos out we talk about custom fit quite a lot and then, like, most of the time that's centered around golf clubs and like drivers irons and all the rest of it and there's not a lot of attention paid right. to putters and you sort of question how much can you change and then you see something like that and, and just in whatever we've been in we've been in half an hour yeah and when we started where we finished. Yeah. It's, it's huge, it's, isn't it? It's massive. Yes, yeah, huge. And it's it's the smallest little thing. Yeah. Like I, I seriously changed uh, one and a half degrees aloft. Yeah. And one degree in lighting. Yeah. And we, we 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 get from five degrees of launch to yeah. four three four three. Yeah. And from backswim to port roll. Yeah. That's it's, incredible, isn't it? And it's that's a huge difference. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And that, you know, from 14 feet, maybe not so much, but six footers. It's going to make, yeah, a huge, huge difference. difference. Absolutely. So, putter bends really easy. Yeah, yeah. So, when a player smacks it on the floor or yeah. or or travels yeah. with it, that's why we want to check the putter the I most often. Say that, yeah, should it be checked? So, if you, if you travel a lot yeah. or you know, we get angry once in a while. <laughs> yeah, this is you. This is yeah. <laughs> this is oh, yeah. this is how easy it bends. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. putter is the most important, as you saw. Exactly. What it yeah what the it, effect it has. Yeah. yeah, the huge effect on yeah. on two degrees aloft and how two degrees is easy to change from yeah, right here. Yeah, it's just yeah. Wow. <laughs> and that's how quickly that changes. Incredible. So all my misses, my recent misses have been down to that time I threw the club a few rounds back. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I'm going to be trying um, some next year's product just outside on the driving range. Just like I said, I can't show you yet, but we're just going out here to hit some balls. Uh, pretty nice driving range. Okay, so that is the end of what was a very eventful 24 hours. I said at the end of the flight, I hope that 11 hour journey was worth it. And based on what we've done today here at the Kingdom, then the answer is absolutely yes. But it doesn't end there. I'm going to be filming this trip. And uh, if you want to stay tuned, then make sure you're here tomorrow night at the same time when we carry on with what is day two at the Kingdom doing some more testing. And then we're going to be out on the golf course here at Carlsbad. So. As ever, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night.